Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I'll discuss about drug-induced optic neuritis and vision loss. Adverse effect of some drugs include inflammation of the optic nerve. Optic nerve is the second cranial nerve that carry the visual pathway to the brain. Fundoscopic examination by means of an ophthalmoscope may reveal optic disc hyperemia. Optic, di optic disc is the area where the optic nerve is attached to the retina. There will be venous engorgement around the optic disc and the retina, papular edema, and retinal damage. Okay, so what are the signs and symptoms of drug-induced optic neuritis and vision loss? There will be visual disturbance by the patient as a complaint, blurred vision and haziness. And the patient may complain that, that he is in the snowstorm, pain in the eye, especially retrobulbar pain, loss of color of vision, red, green, color blindness, loss of visual acuity, loss of field of vision. There may be total blindness. It may be reversible, but due to continued toxicity, there may be partial or total blindness. So what are the drugs that causes optic neuritis, that is inflammation of the optic nerve, the second cranial nerve, that carry the visual pathway to the brain and that causes vision loss? We have to know the name of the drugs, those cause this problem. Number one is the ethambutol. Ethambutol is a medication used in, to prevent to manage tuberculosis. Tuberculosis need multiple medication together for at least six months. Initial two months, usually the rifampicin, INH, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide. Then ethambutol is taken out. Then the rifampicin, INH, will continue. Ethambutol, if it is not withdrawn after one, after two months, then what will happen? There will be retinal damage, optic neuritis that may lead to permanent blindness. So ethambutol is an anti-tubercular drug. It works against the mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is an antimicrobial agent. The, the next drug in this list is the chloroquine, it is an anti-malarial drug. There is a blood cytosine. So if it is taken continuously more than one month, there may be a chance of optic neuritis and vision loss. So person visiting other country as a prophylaxis, they're taking chloroquine, should not continue for a long time. They should consult with the physician by an ophthalmoscopic expert and also to the toxicologist. Penicillamine, that is an anti, anti heavy metal medication. It is used as an chelating agent to remove the heavy metal from our body like that of copper. In case of Wilson disease or hepatolenticular degeneration, this is a medication. We have other heavy metal removing agent. They are called chelating agent. This is very much notorious, may cause optic neuritis. Linjolint is an antimicrobial, synthetic antimicrobial, newly approved medication that may lead to optic neuritis, vision loss. Diadonosine is an antiviral agent. 
may lead to optic neuritis and vision loss. Amiodarone is a class 3 antiarrhythmic medication that may lead to optic neuritis and vision loss. And in our list, we like to add one more drug. This that is actually a drug of abuse. Methanol that is used to remove the, the stain or pain. It is also used to remove the paint and also as a wipe as a wiper in the car, as a, as a wiper fluid. Methanol also in the furniture industry to make some furniture. So methanol is used. It's called wood alcohol. It is a substance of abuse. Sometimes alcoholic person may take this drug, methanol, and that may lead to metabolic acidosis, blindness, and death. Unfortunately, blindness may happen within 36 hours of intoxication. So fluoroquine, it may take months. Ethambutol may take about, about two months to lose the vision. But methanol is so toxic, it may cause blindness by 36 hours, sometimes within six hours. So that's it information in this presentation have been taken from multiple resources for teaching purpose only if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me share the information with your friends if you have any question please feel free to ask me and have a nice day bye now